So my name is Paul, this is uh, Tahreen, my lovely wife, and we both uh, run a small business called Driving Miss Daisy. Um, it's a driving uh, and home support service, supporting older vulnerable um, people in the community, those with uh, disabilities, um, children and uh, adults living alone as well. Quality does affect us as a business massively um, because obviously we do specialise in uh, transportation so when we are taking many of our clients out and about on various journeys, especially with those who have health conditions as well, it is important for them to be exposed to cleaner, fresher air. A lot, a lot of clients, as I say, older vulnerable adults, they've got um, uh, COPD, respiratory conditions. The last thing they need is to be breathing in um, air pollutants um, that you know we are contributing to as a service. That would be paradoxical. Um, so it's important that we um, obviously decrease our emissions, have vehicles that are compliant with uh, uh, the, um, the clean air zone. You know, contribute to the fight, the challenge, and the fight against uh, climate change, and also protect clients and the wider public at large. Clean Air Zone itself, um, referred to as CAS, is in my opinion a, a great initiative for the city. Um, that we have got a lot of, there's a lot of um, traffic in the city, uh, a lot of pollutants. Um, I think it can only benefit the public at large. I think uh, businesses like ours, we were worried at first, thinking, um, you know, how is this going to impact on us? A large degree of our business relies on the transportation, but the fact that they've um, the Clean Air Zone has also taken into consideration businesses and funding that's provided for us to help us upgrade our vehicles um, can, only, can only be a good thing for us um, and at the same time a, a beneficial thing to the, um, to the public as well. The help that we've had from the council has so far been great. Um, it was quite an, an efficient and um, easy process, it was an application just to fill in online. Uh, and we've had quite a good response, uh, quite a quick and rapid response really. And hopefully now with the funding that's come through in place, we'll be able to make our next step um, in the process, which is to um, obtain a, a compliant car, or cars, or vehicles. We've already upgraded one of the vehicles which we've got behind us here. There's two more mm. vehicles that we're in the process of doing. Um, so we just can't wait for it to be all done and dusted and, uh, mm -hmm. and crack on with the job. I've joined a few webinars about the um, Clean Air Zone. They've been very helpful, it's quite informative. Mm -hmm. And then the funding running alongside that and the, the, the quickness in which it's been, uh, we've been able to secure it uh, has been beneficial in our preparation as well as a business. Mm -hmm.